Hi guys, welcome to Keeping It Simple Crafts. I hope everyone is doing good. Today I'm going to show you how I made this Bubble Method Easter Deco Mesh wreath. It's one of my favorites. I just love the way it turned out and you only need one roll of mesh to make it. I am using the 21 inch Deco Mesh from Hobby Lobby and it has 10 yards on the roll. I picked up this little bunny sign at Dollar General for $4. You're going to need one of the Dollar Tree wreath forms or wreath rings, and I believe it's 14 inches. You will need some styrofoam eggs, and I picked those up for a dollar at Dollar General. And then you're going to need a cute garland. My friend Sandra sent me that, so thank you so much, Sandra. You will also need some pipe cleaners cut in half. So take your mesh and just gather it together and we're going to take a zip tie or a pipe cleaner and secure it to your frame. So you're going to take, I'm taking a zip tie and I'm just going to one of the crossbars and I'm going to thread it under it and then I'm going to wrap the zip tie around this 21 inch deco mesh. We are going to be using the bubble method to make this Easter wreath. It's really simple to do. This wreath is one of my favorites to make when using deco mesh. So you're going to slide your hand down about nine or 10 inches and you're going to make a bubble. Now the reason I'm saying nine or 10 inches is because we want to make this with only one roll of the 21 inch deco mesh. So I have my nine or 10 inch bubble then I am going to be using the middle two wires and I'm taking a pipe cleaner that I cut in half and I am just going to secure the bubble to the frame. So I'm wrapping my pipe cleaner around the deco mesh using those two middle wires only, going to the back, twisting the pipe cleaner, folding it down, then push the bubble forward. So move down nine or 10 inches, gather your mesh together, then take a pipe cleaner, wrap it around your mesh, then go to the back and twist those pipe cleaners and fold them down. So you want to make your bubbles the same size each time. So I would recommend measuring until you get the hang of how big to make them. So nine or 10 inches, because remember, we want this to make it with only one roll. From crossbar to crossbar is one section. So in the first section, I made five bubbles at nine inches. Okay, so now I'm being awkward, but you get the hang of it. Five bubbles in the first section, but in the next four sections, you're only going to make four bubbles. And then in the very last section, you're only going to make three bubbles where you're going to be placing your sign. That way you can make this wreath with only one roll. 
So in the first section, five bubbles, the next four sections, four bubbles, the last section, three bubbles, where you're going to be placing your sign. I will write all of this down for you in the description box. Just remember to make your bubbles nine or 10 inches. And remember, it's going to get a little bit harder to squeeze the bubbles in when you start to get toward the end of your wreath. This is going to make a full and fluffy deco mesh wreath. I like to use the bubble method because it just keeps down the fraying that with a lot of methods, other methods you have a lot of fraying. So with this method, you don't have the fraying to worry about and it's really easy as long as you make your bubbles the same size each time. When you get finished, you can kind of fluff your bubbles and make sure they're all going in the same direction, but you really don't have to do anything when you get finished making it. So I think it looks really pretty. And then now I'm going to tie a bow. I ordered this ribbon online at Craft Outlet. So make a, let out a tail about eight or nine inches, make a loop, keep it pinched tightly in your hand, go the other side, make another loop about the same size as your first loop, keep it pinched tightly, go back to your first side, let out some more ribbon, make another loop, try to get your loops the same size each time, keep it pinched tightly in your left hand, go back to the other side, make another loop, and then we're going to make one more loop, so I'll have three loops on the left, three loops on the right, and then you'll want to take either some floral wire or a zip tie to secure, to wrap around the center of your bow to secure it nice and tight. I have lots of bow tutorials on my YouTube channel, so if you don't like this bow, I have a bow playlist, you can check it out. And here I'm just taking my zip tie and I'm going to wrap it nice and tight around the center of my bow. To attach this bow to my wreath, I'm going to take a piece of 20 gauge floral wire and I'm just going to thread it underneath the zip tie and that way I can attach it to my wreath. Now I'm dovetailing the ends, so take your ribbon tail. Fold it in half with your edges to the left side. Go to the folded side, cut away from the fold, and that makes the pretty V on the ends, and it just kind of dresses it up. Then you're going to want to fluff the loops of your bow.
this ribbon is 1.5 inch width ribbon with wire. I like to normally tie my bows the bottom layer with 2.5 inch and then add the 1.5 inch on top and stack my bows, but I didn't have any solid purple or pink in the 2.5 inch, so I just went with this. So it's a little bit smaller than I usually make for my wreaths. And so here I'm just taking the piece of floral wire, threading it under the zip tie. That way it's easy to attach the bow to my wreath. Next, I'm taking the wire and I'm just threading the wire through the deco mesh and I'm going to go to the back of the wreath, twist the wires, and then cut them off short and fold them down. So be patient and thread your wires through the deco mesh to attach your bow. So that's how my bow looks. And now here's my cute bunny sign from Dollar General. I just hot glued some pipe cleaners on the back to attach it to my wreath. And then I'm just hot gluing some little star foam Easter eggs onto the wreath too. So just be very careful when you're using your hot glue. I have mine on cool temp or cool setting and I'm using Gorilla Glue hot glue. You may have to hold the little Easter eggs just a little while until they have time to dry. Now I'm taking the Easter egg garland from Dollar Tree that Sandra sent me and I'm just taking some of the Easter eggs off of it and I'm going to hot glue them onto the wreath. And that's how the back of the bunny looks and the pipe cleaners were a little short so I had to add an extension onto the left and the right that way I could get it to reach around to the back so I could secure it to the wreath. You do not have to make this wreath for Easter. You can make it for spring, summer, any season or holiday. I'm just giving you some ideas. I am just making mine for Easter. Once you get your sign wired on, then you could go back and add a little hot glue behind him so that he makes sure and stays in place. Or you could also add a wire around the bunny's neck too if you're afraid it might move or come off. And then here I'm just using some hot glue and hot gluing the little um, Easter eggs from the little garland onto the wreath. My daughter did hot glue some pearls on the little Easter egg that the bunny's holding and I thought that was a cute little touch. And then um, to hang it up, I just added a piece of twine. I just tied it and made a loop around the crossbar at the top and then it was ready to hang on my front door. I hope you enjoyed watching me make this bubble method deco mesh wreath. If you did, please let me know in the comment section. If you don't mind, please give this video a thumbs up. I would appreciate it if you would share this video with your friends and family. And if you have not subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would love to have you as a subscriber. And thank you guys that always like and share and comment on my videos. Y'all are just the best. So thank you so much and I hope everyone has a great day.